What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to filter your Google search results by time period. So basically by time period, I mean you can do it by past year, past month, past week, past hour, I believe, or at least past day and then past hour, I think. So um, what that means is that things like if, for example, if I select the past days, so only things that have been published to the internet today will show up in my Google search. So for example, I have Weather Toronto search right here in Google, and I want to see it only for today. So you have to click tools for that over here, and you see that'll just cycle this little text right here. So it'll go from the results, and then you'll have the option right here. So um, I have past year selected. Let's just do past 24 hours. And as you can see, um, when I scroll down, obviously this is in with the, within the past 24 hours, um, but uh, articles only uploaded today, basically. Um, and these these uh, dates or these times next to these websites here, that's when the uh, website was published to the web, basically published to the internet. Google can find this out, it pulls it, and then it shows it to you so you know how up to date it is basically. So that's how you filter it. Um, let me just do one more example real quick. Uh, for example, um, past year, let's go back to that. Boom. Scroll down, it still prioritizes most recent things, but as you can see, um, that is from last year. I mean, it's only a month ago, but you get what I'm saying. So um, you can also do a custom range where if you select that, you can do from. So let me just do from January 1st to today. So only this year is all I want. And here we go. Basically, it'll just apply that as well. So that is how you filter your Google searches by date or by time period. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Let's grow this channel. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.